which graph represents the relationship between the magnitude of the gravitational force, Fg, between two masses and the distance, R, between the centers of their masses. Um, so looking at this, when you're doing the graphing relationships, one of the first things you should always do is try and pull out an equation. So we're talking about the force of gravity between two objects separated by the distance. Should sound familiar as your universal gravitation equation, GMM over R squared. <clears throat> so as we look at this, R is in the denominator which indicates that there's some type of inverse relationship here. As R goes up, the force of gravity will go down, which eliminates choices 1 and 2. We're down to 3 and 4, uh, and we need to figure out which one is, it's going to be. Number 3 indicates an inverse relationship. 4 indicates an inverse square relationship. Now, the answer for this one's going to be 4, because notice that R is in the denominator, which is inverse, but it's also square. And so you wind up having that steep curving shape. And the last thing to consider is, you know, does the graph that you chose make sense? Does it make sense that as R increases, so as the distance between these two objects gets further and further and further apart, does it make sense that the force of gravity would be weaker? Um, in this case, yes, it does. So let's stick with our answer of 4.